So NASA lion. So here's the first clip. You know, he's got gravity. They haven't got gravity. They forgot to edit out the technician. Clip number two, guys. Notice this astronaut's necklace. It's floating. You know, he's, he's in a no gravity zone. But watch what happens when he drops the card. That was strange, wasn't it? What about the time when there was a fly in space? Can you see it right there? Oh, there he is. And then, just keep watching. Keep watching. And here comes the fly again. Oh, there he is. Hmm. Fly in space. Stop believing in the television. It's channeling you to be programmed. I can't believe in 2025 I still have to debunk anti-NASA conspiracy theories, which are absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't take a lot of investigation to figure out what's going on in, with those three clips that he showed. Clearly, he's not interested in it. What the anti-NASA conspiracy theorists are doing is just is what we call anomaly hunting. They just look for things that they think are strange, and they declare them evidence that NASA is lying. It's all pretty ridiculous. Of course, the conspiracy theory itself is childish and nonsensical. I mean, it's, it's absolutely implausible that for over decades, you know, that, that there could be this massive, it would have to be worldwide conspiracy to fake the, the uh, space travel, the ISS, et cetera, and all of that. It's nonsense. Uh, and this, the, well, we could show that just by looking at those three examples. So the first one where you have the technician in the corner of the video and he's saying that he has gravity. But why is he saying that? Why does he think that there's evidence of gravity there? So he places a cup on the table and it stays there because, of course, it does. Why would, it, why would anything else happen? If you hold it to the table so that it has no momentum and let go, it's not going to float away just because it, there's no gravity. If there's nothing touching it or pushing on it, it's going to stay where it is. But what about the liquid inside the cup? Now, do you notice anything? If you take a close look at the cup, it's not really a great um, shot. A, a more in-focus image would be better. But if you look at the club, cup, it looks a little strange in its structure. Well, NASA has engineered a cup with a specific shape that, al that allows liquid to stay inside of it, even though there's no top because of surface tension. And that's what that cup looks like. So there's no evidence of any actual gravity there. That could just be a guy drinking out of a cup that NASA designed to hold liquid in it that you could find online. These things exist. Also, the guy waves at the camera. So what's the claim here? That NASA is engaged in a multi-decade, multi-billion dollar conspiracy to fake space travel, but really they forget to edit out a technician in the middle of one of their fake videos and the guy waves at the camera? It's childish. It's nonsensical. The next one is the card thing. Now, that individual is a private astronaut who, who is a magician and who said he's doing magic tricks. He's demonstrating a magic trick on the ISS. So, first of all, again, what's the claim here? So his necklace is floating, clearly showing evidence that he's in microgravity. He lets go of the hammer which also floats, again, deliberately demonstrating that he's in microgravity, and then the card falls. Why would NASA, by the way, show this if this was evidence that they're lying and covering up reality? Makes no sense. But in reality, this guy said, I'm going to do a magic trick, and then he does a magic trick. This is not evidence of NASA deceiving anybody. Um, and then the third video, why does he say that's a bug or a fly? It's a speck, right? It's a fuzzy black speck. It might not even be outside. It could be in the camera for all, all we know. We can tell from that. It doesn't move like a fly, right? It kind of moves very unnaturally. There's a lot of debris outside of you know, the windows of the ISS. So it's possible it's just debris. It's also possible, again, that it's an artifact. that's something on the lens. It's not a fly, though. Right? You can look at it. It's just a fuzzy black speck. It's not a fly. It doesn't move like a fly. So that's just, that's just nonsensical as well. So the quality of this guy's evidence is really suspect. I mean, clearly he didn't do even five minutes of searching to verify his claims. Uh, he's not interested in the truth. He's just conspiracy mongering, which is all we get from the NASA is lying crowd.